Happy Mother's Day in Heaven, Mama. Gone but never forgotten. The things I've learned from my mama are insurmountable. But number one, family first. Always put your family first. The next thing, high importance, that I learned from my mama was never hold back. Speak your mind. That's the truth. I learned not only from my mama, but from my daddy and the marriage that they had, that marriage is important. It's hard work, but it's worth it. From what I can remember, I was an angel, and Jason bothered me every chance he got. <laughs> right, Jason? But more than that, we can laugh now about her getting the door stuck in the bag. We snort laughs and rolled on the floor a little many a times discussing this moment in time on a vacation when she said, I can't shut the door, I got the door stuck in the bag. We would also give her a hard time because it took her a minute to get the joke, but then she would laugh minutes after the rest of us. You know how kids are, picking on their mama because they don't get it. She got emotional at the drop of a hat. But the main thing that I remember is in our, mine, and my husband's wedding video, you can hear her in the background. <laughs> she was just crying just as loud as she could. You could hear her way at the front of the church, but I love it. And I'm the exact same way. I learned that strength comes in many ways, shapes, and sizes. And she was a very strong woman. I also learned on a grand scale on many times that families take a sacrifice. Small sacrifices. Large sacrifices. But in the best interest of your family, that's just what you do. You sacrifice. As you'll see in the video at the end, she loved to taste these Taste of Country boxes that my nephew and niece brought over for all of us to share. This was an Easter memory way back when. So in this moment, I said, Mama, let's take a selfie. She said, what's a selfie? <laughs> what's a selfie? Here, let me show you. Mama would go to Lynn Bell and get her hair did, and if you listened, she'd tell you that's where she'd get her hair did. But then Tara, a lovely angel, started coming to the house to do Mama's hair. She really, really appreciated that. She also had a helpful spirit, and she never met a stranger. And the two of these I can explain to you. And one day I walked past the kitchen, and I heard her in the living room on the telephone. I walked past her and said, Mama, who's on the phone? She shrugged her shoulders at me like, I don't know. When she hung the phone up very long later, like 30 minutes later, I said, Mama, who was that? She said, I don't know. I was just trying to help him find out and find the lady he was looking for. Heart of gold. And as a teenager, we didn't have an answer machine or caller ID to find out who it was. You answered the phone when it rang. So if it was somebody you didn't want to talk to as a teenager, you better have one foot out the front door or else you was there. See, if the foot was out the front door, she could say, I don't know, they just left. <laughs> I didn't grow up until 2018. Both mama and daddy were big on keeping your promises. So I try to do that as well. Thank you, Jason, for taking this next video. I've watched it many times. Great memory. Chocolate.
Now, you know what's you know what's worse when they give you a thing. It's also dark chocolate. It probably is dark chocolate. So yeah. So that yellow chocolate either. That chocolate. It's probably it could be bitter baker's chocolate. Yeah, or the rest of this way. I already ate chocolate with the other rest. Bitter baker's sorry. That's a bit guilty. Yeah. I ain't that thing. I thought you were probably